Hey folks and welcome to They Might Be Homesteading. Today we're dealing with a uh, internal issue within the house. We put in these lights uh, when we redid this room and we thought they were fantastic looking. They use a halogen bulb that's a GU10 and basically they burn out on a regular basis. So they tend to be very expensive. But uh, and I've been looking for a good replacement for these. Um, we actually got to the point where we thought we might have to replace the lights. Um, but what we found is that uh, the LED technology is finally getting to a point where uh, you can use it in most lights. Because the halogens are expensive, they throw a lot of heat, which you then have to pay to cool. Um, if you go with a CFL bulb, you know, those are full of mercury, so as far as I'm concerned, those are not allowed in our house. So the only thing left for us is LEDs. And I found this while wandering around one of the uh, home stores. And if you, you hear a small child in the background, that's my assistant. And um, so the nice thing about these is that they use the same funny little stem that the GU-10 does, which is yeah. two holes but it's an LED lamp. So, and of course, modern packaging being as wonderful as it is, and this is another ridiculously wasteful thing that we paid for. But at any rate, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this GU10 LED version, and I'm going to ah, install it in the place of this burnt out halogen, and we're going to compare and see what the difference is. Alright, so we've got the new LED installed, and you can see that it throws plenty of light. I've got a good nice spot right here, but what really strikes me initially is if I hold my hand up, this hand is baking, this one feels no heat. So especially here in Arizona, this is a great thing because it's going to keep our house much cooler. The other thing which I find also amazing is this has a 22 year life as opposed to, you know, seven to eight months with these halogens. Now, obviously, we haven't run it for 22 years, so we haven't validated that, but needless to say, it's going to run for a good long time. The downside to these bulbs is this particular one I bought at, like I said, in the local home store, uh, I think it was Home Depot I found it at, it was 17 or $18. So that is not cheap when it comes to a light bulb. You may say to yourself, well, in that case, I might as well stick with the halogens. However, I did some research. And depending on the light bulb type you have, either a GU-10 or some of our other floods or a PAR-20, if you go on to Amazon and do some research, you can get them for as low as 6 or $7 a bulb, which makes a tremendous difference in cost savings. So what I recommend is you go online, you find the bulb type you need, and you start converting out. Now, if you're putting new lighting into a house, say you're refurbing a place, there's a ton of new LED-based light fixtures out there. And the real benefit, aside from the heat, is the LED bulbs consume far less electricity. They are not full of that mercury that you get with the CFL bulbs. They are all in all a better product. And as these LED lights continue to mature, the price on them will continue to drop. So it may be something that you're not ready to do today, but look back at them again in six months. At any rate, I am now off to Amazon to go order enough of these to fill out the rest of the bulbs. And uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.